Hey guys, Fubbleeky here today, and welcome to another Redstone tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at this little contraption I've made. Uh, this was actually requested by one of you. So basically, at first glance, it's just a piston door like this. Yeah, sure, that's that's all ordinary. So with piston, not piston, pressure plates, you walk through. Then we see this little lever here. Now, one of the common problems that a lot of people seem to have is that when you use piston doors with pressure plates especially, is that if you're running away from a mob or another player or something, they can just stand on a plate and come in. Um, so let's say this is inside your house and you just hit this lever and now the door is rendered useless. It doesn't open from either side and it will not until you flick the lever once more. So basically it's just like a lock on the door to stop it from opening when you don't want it to. So uh, I guess we'll get started. It's pretty easy to make to be honest. Uh, it may look a little confusing but it, it really isn't. This is it here. All just moved above the ground so you can see. It's the anti-mob slash noob locking system. Um, it looks a bit muddled together, but we'll go through it piece by piece. So, let's get started on that. First things first, we're going to start with the green wool, which is our activation circuit in which when you stand on the pressure plates, the redstone the doors are activated. So, we're going to start by putting two blocks here. We're just going to build the redstone line. So, it's two blocks, and then six along here. So, three, three, and then two down. Um, we'll just put redstone along this for now, like this. And then our flooring is going to be in the center of this. So, just above it. Right here is where the floor is going to be with our pressure plates. So you can get an idea of where it's going. You know what, we'll just build the floor first so it's easier to see where we're building and what we're doing. So the floor comes straight across like this. And then you have your other uh, pressure plates right here. So this is one side of the door and this is the other. Okay, so we've got the start of our green circuit here. And basically what we're doing here, we're going to put torches on either end of this because we do need to invert the signal. Um, as you'll see when we put down the redstone door. First we'll just do this. I'm, I'm going to build it because it's kind of hard to explain it unless it's already been built to be honest. So I'm going to, I'll try and explain it while I'm building but um, yeah. Now to activate the pressure plates on this side of the door we need to come down and put some green wool below it or whatever block you're using um, because we need to get the signal from these plates. So when we stand on these you'll no notice that it will turn on which is perfect. We just need to get that signal to the other side. Now there's a reason we can't go straight across like this and that will become clearer later. So what we're going to actually have to do is come across one block, across one, and we have to go up one and then back down. Uh, and yeah, this will become clearer once we get more into it. So now we've done pretty much the green circuit and that will activate, you'll see where, we're, where you're supposed to be looking is there, where it's on and it's on over there. So when we hit this, they both go off, as you can see, and we do it on this side and they both go off. So we'll just have a look real quick at what we've done. Basically, we're just deactivating this torch here and this torch here using the pressure plate. So it's just joined together with the redstone line. So that's good. That's all well and good. Now we're going to do the um, piston activation. Um, and by that, that's going to, that's the circuit here, the black one that activates all the pistons up the top. So we come to the end of the green circuit here where it's inverted and have one block there the torch on top of that, another block, another torch, and one more block, and a piece of redstone. Basically, this carries our signal vertically, um, so we can power our pistons, and you'll see how that works in just a minute. So just bear with me if this is a bit confusing. I'm, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to explain <laughs> without it being there. Um, so we do the exact same on this side with the two torches and a piece of redstone on top. Now we can place in our pistons, and you'll see how it works. So when we put in our first piston, it's going to be powered directly by this torch because the torch is right next to it and that's perfect. The second piston is powered by this block and this block is receiving power from this torch. So now this torch is powering this piston and the torch is powering the block which powers that piston. And finally the third piston at the top is powered by the redstone up here which is powered by the torch which powers the block which powers the redstone. So that's how it travels up and powers all of the three pistons. And they all push out at the same time. And basically it's the exact same on this side, so we just put three in and they all push out like that perfectly. And now you can actually test your door. And if you don't want to do the lock, you're actually done right now. So you just hit your pressure plates like that, it'll open and close, and because we've got no, we've got no blocks there, it's not going to crush us. So you can see right now it already works. Okay, now we're going to build the locking system. Um, the easiest side to build on is this side that only has the three green blocks here because you've got a nice big space here that we can use. You can build it on both sides and I'll show you how to do it on the other side in just a moment. 
But we're going to do it on the side first. So what you can do is just click on the side of this piston here and put a block. And you put a lever right on top of that. Directly underneath this block, like with one block space here like this, you put your redstone here. And you use the lever to lock it. And sorry about the daytime ending. Um, and we're going to flick the lever on so we can see that it's activated. Um, we just we basically just step down this redstone signal. We need this redstone here to power this black circuit on both sides. So what we need to do is direct this signal into the torch. So we need to go down one block, and now you can see that the redstone is powering this block, which in turn turns off this block and carries up the top, and uh, the signal continues. And now we just do the exact same on the other side, so we build our redstone line going straight through, and you can see now that's why we have a little bridge here, because we need this line to go right through there. And now, effectively, our locking system is in place. So when we stand on this, you see the pistons aren't going to go back, but if we turn that off, they will. So we can now lock our piston doors very easily by using the lever, which is pretty cool. Now, if you want to build it on the other side, it's pretty easy. It's just It just has one difference. So we put the block in the same spot, the lever in the same spot, and our red wool in the same spot. But you'll notice when we put the redstone there, it joins to the green circuit, which we don't want. And to pre prevent that, all you have to do is put a piece of floor there, um, which is basically what you're going to have anyways. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. So you can just build in your flooring now wherever you've done this. Um, but one important thing to note, you have to use half slabs right up here. I'll show you in a second. So I'm just going to build in this flooring here. And on this little bridge here, you cannot put a block, a normal flooring block, right there. Because it will cut a circuit, and in turn the doors aren't going to work. Because you can see there's no redstone going up. So you need to use a half slab. Um, in this case it's going to be a wooden half slab, because I'm using planks. So I'm just going to grab a half slab. And it just has to go on the top of the block here, and it allows the signal, the redstone wire, to actually continue down while still having floor there, which is pretty awesome. So you can now say it's not cut, but we have flooring. And then, of course, you just put your blocks in. I'm just going to use black wool because I have it on me. Um, and then you'd have your wall here, covering up all of this, however you want. I'd use wood there, but I'm using black wool now. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you build the locking mechanism, or just piston doors if that's what you're into. Um, and it will open up like that, just nicely. And you can lock it, and then nobody can come through. So, anyways guys, I hope this was a little helpful tutorial on how to sort of lock your piston doors and how to build some piston doors. Of course, all this can be hidden underground, as I have done over here. It's the exact same circuit, just moved down four blocks into the ground. So if we go down here, you can see it all. Um, and there you go. Um, so anyways guys, that's, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope it was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.